Have you ever had a dream where you're wearing glasses, but you don't wear glasses in real life? There are certain elements in a dream that you may have missed that point to a prophetic gift. So let's talk about dreams that reveal your prophetic gift. In 1 Corinthians 12, it mentions nine spiritual gifts that are given to the believer by way of the Holy Spirit. Out of the nine, three of the gifts are known as the knowledge gifts, and they are the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, and the discerning of spirits. So in this video, we're going to focus on these gifts in particular. So God can use an element in a dream that speaks of a specific spiritual gift, but you may not have realized it. So we're going to talk about the elements and symbols that reveal your prophetic gift. Number one, wearing glasses in a dream, but you don't wear glasses in real life. Glasses in a dream can represent the seer anointing. In other words, it's showing that you have keen prophetic vision and that you have the ability to interpret what God is saying through what you see. In the Bible, the prophet Daniel operated under a seer's anointing where he was able to understand the writing on the wall. And that was in the book of Daniel, the fifth chapter and the fifth verse. Also, if you have the ability to interpret dreams and visions, you too have a seer's anointing. In fact, Dream interpreters have the gift of the word of wisdom where they can interpret dreams and visions and also give counsel as to what the will of the Lord is. And we saw this in both Joseph and Daniel. Now, wearing glasses in a dream can mean other things. So always remember to pay attention to what's going on in the dream in order to rightly interpret the dream. Number two, looking through a window. So if you have a dream where you're looking through the window or looking out of a window, this can represent prophetic vision. It could mean that you're seeing present or future events that were previously unknown to you. No matter if you're inside of a room and you're looking out of a window or you're riding in a vehicle and you're looking out of the window, this could represent that you are in fact a visionary and you have the ability to see what God is revealing in the dream. So depending on what's going on in the dream, what God is revealing, what you're seeing as you look out of the window, looking out of a window can in fact represent a prophetic gift. I want to mention too that if you have a dream where you're looking off in the distance, you're seeing something that's coming, this could also represent a prophetic gift. So if you have any dreams where you're looking off in the distance, you see a storm coming or something coming your way, this can also represent that you have a prophetic gift. Number three, big ears. So if you have a dream that your ears are unusually big or that you even just see an ear in the dream, this could represent that you have a prophetic gift and that you have no problems hearing what God is saying. In fact, at times I will suddenly have a vision of an ear, just an ear. And I know the Lord is getting ready to tell me something that he doesn't want me to miss. So an ear in a dream or if an ear is being highlighted or you have unusually big ears in a dream, this could be pointing to a prophetic gift and that you have the ability to hear what God is saying. Now, a side note, if you have a dream where you have something in your ear and you're trying to get it out of your ear, this could mean that something is blocking you from hearing God clearly. So that's just a little side note. Number four, flying. Now flying in a dream can represent many different things, but if you have a dream where you're flying through the air and you're not in an airplane, this could represent a prophetic anointing. 
It could be showing that God has given you incredible spiritual insight and the ability to see what God is doing from a heavenly perspective. So flying in a dream can represent having prophetic vision. Number five, seeing things in a dream that no one else in the dream can see. For instance, you can have a dream where you see an angel in the sky, plain as day, but no one else in the dream can see it, even if you point it out. So being the only person that sees something in a dream can be revealing your prophetic gift where you have the ability to see what's taking place in the spirit realm. Number six, the appearance of a prophet in your dream. So you can have a dream involving a well-known prophet or a prophetic person in your environment. For example, you can dream that you're being taught by a prophet or a prominent prophetic person comes to visit you. You can also have a dream where a known prophet gives you a gift or puts a coat or a robe on you. All of these scenarios can be revealing that you have been given a prophetic gift or that you stand in the office of a prophet. So a known prophet or a prophetic person appearing in your dream can be revealing your prophetic gift. Number seven, smelling something. So if you have a dream that focuses on the fact that you're smelling something in particular, could be a bad odor or a pleasant smell, this could be revealing that you have the gift of discerning of spirits. Now the gift of discerning of spirits is where you're able to perceive the true character of people and you can also perceive the presence of angels and demonic spirits in a place or environment. For example, smelling a foul or rotten odor in a dream would point to the presence of demons, whereas smelling flowers or a sweet fragrance would represent the presence of heaven or of angels. So smelling a particular scent or odor in a dream can be revealing a prophetic gift, the gift of discerning of spirits. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Have you had a dream in which you found yourself in any of the scenarios I mentioned in this video? Also, I'm curious to know what prophetic gift do you have? Leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the dream team and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos. I'll talk to you all next time.